Oh boy. Deadpool 2's lost its director over creative differences. That's definitely not a good sign. Most projects I know end up in development hell in that case. Still, I'm sure whatever Tim Miller is doing now is just as important. Oh. Every people, this is your cult of personality here, Tune Critics Name and Tune's Name of My Game. Oh my god, we are getting a Sonic the Hedgehog movie in 2018! Hell yes! I am a Sonic fan, I am a proud one, and I cannot wait for this movie. I cannot wait for the teaser to the trailer. Why do they do that? Release a trailer for the trailer? That makes no sense. Anyway, with how well we've improved on CGI and animated movies since the 90s, I say why not now make a movie and do it right of Sonic the Hedgehog? Because, you know, the last movie we got was, um... You might know everything I'm going to do, but that's not going to help you, since I know everything you're going to do! Strange, isn't it? Interesting. Now, of course, video game movies have been a massive hit or miss, and with Ratchet and & Clank and Angry Birds showing how well a fully animated video game movie can do, now it's time we put it to the test. But I am not gonna lie, I have my doubts. Especially with three words. CGI, live action. You cannot possibly screw this up unless you do this movie right. And if you read the title of this video, I'm going to share some of my hopes for this Sonic movie. So firstly, you're already off to a pretty good start with Tim Miller leaving Deadpool to do Sonic. The director of Deadpool is making a Sonic the Hedgehog movie. That sounds all fine and well on paper, but here's where it has to go right. It's with the execution. You have to make this movie as meta and goofy as you can possibly do so. I've seen so far on the Sonic Boom TV series that they've decided to just throw the fourth wall out the window, and they're very self-aware. They know they're not as good as they used to be, so they're just making jokes left and right at themselves. A little bit of self-deprecating humor. And it actually kind of works, because Sonic has not exactly had the most clean history. He's had a lot of hiccups. A lot of hiccups. A lot of hiccups. So you can understand why they want to try to keep the meta and goofy tone. That's good. You also have to find a good writer. Heck, hire the guy who's working on the Sonic Twitter right now, because I'm sure he would have a field day with this movie. But it has to be written well, it has to have a good amount of comedy, a good amount of drama, a great amount of action because Sonic is a fast-paced superhero. So you want to try to do this right, and you don't want this movie to come off as some generic superhero action movie. You want this to be known as the Sonic the Hedgehog movie. Now with the characters, I'm going to say this right now, be very selective. There's many different ways that you can do this, but the furthest that you can do with the amount of characters, here's what you need to have right off the bat. You need to have Sonic, well obviously, I mean it's not a Sonic the Hedgehog movie without Sonic the Hedgehog. And you need to have Eggman as the main villain, because, you know, these two have been fighting for years. That only makes sense. Now, when it comes to additional characters, the following three are only the ones that should even be thought about. Tails, Knuckles, and Amy. If you go any further than that, you're gonna have character overload. I say that because they've been there since the beginning. They've been rooted as Sonic's best friends, and... Stalker, but nevertheless, it's important that you have the base crew there because that gives someone for Sonic to bounce off of. I mean, come on, it's not gonna be that hard. You have the nerd, you have the muscle, and you have the token girl. So, it's not that hard to work with. You can't have everybody. I mean, look at this. Could you seriously fit this many characters into the Sonic movie? I'm sure you probably could as cameos, but let's be realistic here. Oh yeah, for the live-action cast, please let it be people who are actually having fun with this and aren't just there for a paycheck. I don't want to see this movie suffer because it's on a Nickelodeon movie budget. I want this to be a big-budget movie with big-budget people who are there to have fun, who probably know what Sonic is, so that way they're at least familiar with it and aren't there just like, Duh, I signed up here for a paycheck. There are so many different ways that you can do this movie. You can have it be a reboot and have it be its own thing. You could have it as a canon continuation. You could have it as a superhero origins movie. You could have it as a lot of different things. But there's one thing that I don't want this movie to end up as. I do not want to have this end up like the Smurfs or the Chipmunks. 
You know what I mean. Oh, look! We're in the human world! Ooh, what's all these human-y things? Ha! Product placement! Ha! That's so cool! Ha! Pop song that's topical at the moment! Ha! I better not see any of that in this movie, because Sonic the Hedgehog is better than that! Okay, reel it in. You don't want to start sounding like one of those Sonic fans now, even though I probably am at this point. Now this is something that the studio sort of did with Ratchet and Clank that both worked and didn't at the same time. I don't want them to recast Sonic. I think Roger Craig Smith as Sonic is probably one of the best choices for him right now. And please don't get someone else for Eggman because Mike Pollock is probably the best Eggman possible. It's like he was made to voice Eggman. As I said before, have people who want to be in this and who want to have fun and aren't being there for a paycheck. If you're gonna recast and look for star power, at least find voices that match too. The last thing that I'm going to talk about is very crucial and probably more important than all the things that I've been talking about up until now, which is probably why I've saved it for last. Now I've looked at the success of Angry Birds versus the eh success of Ratchet and Clank, and it took me a while to figure out why, and it's down to one word marketing. Ratchet and Clank failed because the marketing for it was non-existent and when people did see it, they didn't know what to make of it. If you're a fan of it, great, but if you're not a fan of it, um, not gonna quite work out. The reason Angry Birds worked in my mind is because it appealed to casual audiences. You didn't have to be a fan of Angry Birds to understand it, it just laid it out there and gave you a movie that you could enjoy. Now if there is one thing that Sonic the Hedgehog is good at, it is marketing. Sonic the Hedgehog is a worldwide icon, so he already has a great advantage here. A lot of people know who Sonic the Hedgehog is. He's been there since the 90s. He's been firmly rooted in pop culture with commercials, with cartoons, with video games, with advertisements, with just about anything. You could slap Sonic on anything and it just about works. He works for the kids and you know what? That's gonna be the big thing that makes this movie work is because he appeals to the kids and you can make that work with a pretty strong PG movie. The smartest and most important thing to do here is to market this movie with everything everything that you have. The marketing for this movie is going to be strong because it's going to be a great animated movie and I can only hope that they pull this off and they get in people to see this because people will want to see a Sonic the Hedgehog movie. I know it. I can feel it in my bones. Not to mention, he was in Wreck-It Ralph. Although it was a cameo, he was good enough to be in that. People recognized him. People understand how important of an icon this guy still is. Maybe he's lost his edge. Maybe his games aren't as good as they used to be. But with this movie, I feel this is key for Sonic right now. This is a sink or swim situation. I feel that everyone working on this has to put 110% effort into this because if this movie flops, then who knows what's going to happen next for Sonic. But you know what? At the end of the day, if this movie succeeds, if this movie flops, there's one thing that I know for certain. It is not going to change the fact that I will still be a fan of Sonic the Hedgehog. So go ahead and put down in the comments what your hopes are for the Sonic the Hedgehog movie. What do you want to see and what don't you want to see? With that being said, I'm the Tune Critic, keeping you totally tuned for your entertainment. Thanks for watching and stay awesome.